Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So I have the beautiful mirror tape from Magpie Beauty. I'm going to show you what it is, how to use it, and then I'm going to show you how to do these glassy iridescent mermaid nails at the end of the video. So there are four colours to choose from and you can buy them individually as well. So we have white iridescent, pink iridescent, orange iridescent and blue iridescent. And the thing I like about these is that they are actually opaque so any shapes or shards or whatever you make with these you're going to be able to see them and they're not going to be lost on the nail. So I saw Mrs Magpie herself use craft punches so I just went upstairs and grabbed all of mine. I knew they would come in handy again one day and I'll try and leave links as to where I got these from in the description box. But I've got so many so I've got hearts, the daisy one is probably one of my favourites and then I have a square, I'm sure that would come in useful for something. Snowflake, super pretty for Christmas, another little flower and then the flamingo is super cute for summer and the dot will always come in handy I think for anything and then of course the cute little butterfly. Now all of these craft punches I've shown you are in the mini size because I think the other shapes might be a little bit too big but when you are punching these out you really need to commit, you need to put it on a flat surface and press really hard and really quickly because otherwise you might get frayed edges. And another way I like to use these is with the shape scissors that you can get. If you are going to buy some make sure you get the metal teeth, don't get the plastic ones because they don't work and there's so many different shapes. I've got some chevron ones somewhere but cannot for the life of me remember where they are but they would be cool and I really do like this wave one as well which I thought would be perfect for my mermaid nails. So here are just some little examples I did over magpie gel colour and I did two coats of colour and then I did wipe the inhibition layer and stick them onto that because sticky on sticky doesn't really go. You need to have a dry surface if you didn't want to wipe the tacky layer then just add a layer of don't be tacky and put it on top of that but I really love the daisy one I think that's my favorite and this is in natural daylight just so you can see the iridescence coming through so I'm just going to quickly show you how to do my nails these are a clear base so that's what I'm starting off with but you can use this over any magpie gel colour or any colour or you can encapsulate into hard gel or acrylic. This mirror tape is super versatile. So I've just picked out the three colours that I want. This is the pink one, just look at the shift on that, so gorgeous. And the white one is that, you know, real mermaidy unicorn type uh, look. And then this is the orange with which shifts to gold. So it's probably best to get all your shapes punched out or cut out ready to go. So I just did a few of the wavy ones and then a few of the straight ones with my stalk scissors. Try and use something really sharp so you get a nice clean edge. This is like minimum effort for maximum effect. It's so easy. So there's my clear nail. And all I'm going to do is pull off the shards from the backing and stick them to the nail. It really is that simple. And maybe some tips on how to stick these down. I just use the back of my tweezers here, but maybe a silicone tool or something to get it really, really smooth to the nail. And I just wanted to show you how quite thin and easy this is to apply because I am overlapping my shapes but the nail is still remaining thin and it's not really sticking up anywhere. So just make sure all the edges are stuck down. And I thought this side looked a little bit lonely so I just added another little piece of the white iridescent in there. Yeah. 
So because this is laying nice and flat, I'm just going to use one layer of Give Me Strength, which is the Magpie Clear Structure Gel, just to encapsulate that and make sure all the edges and everything are sealed so you're not going to get anything lifting up. And then I just wipe the tacky layer and because I'm stamping on top, I did just give this a gentle buff just to smooth it out if there's any little lumps and bumps. And of course, so the stamping adheres nicely to the top. So I'm using an oldie but a goodie today. This is Dixie Plate Summer 01 with that classic mermaid scale print. And I'm just gonna stamp this in white and then clean up around the nail. And then I'm just finishing off with one layer of Magpie Let It Shine, which is their non-tacky top coat so you will need to wipe the dispersion layer off of that at the end and these are the finished nails so they're really easy but really effective i love it when you have something iridescent underneath and you can see it through the stamping i think it looks really cool so let me know if you've got the mirror tape and what you think of it which is your favorite color and thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one bye